Today we discuss about epicyclic gear train. First about definition. Apart from the rotation of the gear, if one of the axis of the gear is also rotating with respect to some other axis, then the gear train is known as epicyclic drag gear train. Epicyclic gear train may be simple, may be compound, may be bevel, epicyclic gear train or reverted epicyclic gear train. Now to understand epicyclic gear train, now we consider a case, suppose gear A which is axis is fixed and 100 teeth and gear B have 50 teeth. Now this is front view, side view and this is top view of the gear. Now gear has also teeth, you also know. So gear cannot slip with respect to other, it rotate. Now one other link is used to rotate the axis of the gear. This link is known as arc or carrier. Now we consider a case, suppose gear E A is rotating at 100 rpm in anti-clockwise direction. Now due to the, we consider gear P due to the gear A, gear B will rotate at 200 rpm in clockwise direction and due to the arm, suppose arm is rotating at 100 rpm, then the total revolution of the gear will be due to this and due to this is 300 clockwise. Now if R is rotating at 200 rpm in anti-clockwise direction then the rpm of the gear is 0. Now if gear is rotating, nahi, no R is rotating at 300 rpm in anti-clockwise direction the then the gear A gear B will also rotating at 100 rpm in anti-clockwise direction so what is most important thing you can see from the we use only one link but we can obtain more than one gear ratio this is the beauty of the epicyclic gear train now but another thing is that what is the degree of freedom of the epicyclic gear train? Degree of freedom is used to convert the unconstrained machine into the constraint, unconstrained mechanism into the constraint mechanism. If the degree of freedom of the mechanism is more than one, then equal to the degree of freedom, we control the link of the mechanism and convert the unconstrained motion into constrained motion so we calculate the degree of freedom the formula of the degree of freedom is 3 l minus 1 minus 2j link joint and this is higher pair now there are four link first second third r fourth is fixed i think fixed link is r and it is also a link so total number of link is 4 number of joint is equal to you can see first second and arm and arc that is the higher pair in gear one of the higher pair so if we put the value in this so the degree of freedom is of a cyclic gear train is 2 so you can see B control to link that is one of the gear A and other is R to rotate or obtain more than one gear ratio in epicyclic gear train. This is about epicyclic gear train. In next lecture, I will give you example how to calculate the number of RPM of gear 
और आ